and welcome to another video. It is me Desiree and today we're going to be talking about this. This is from the brand Vacation. This is a Super Spritz SPF 50 face mist. And one thing about this brand is the branding is absolute perfection. Everything in their line is like late 80s, early 90s design. It's so well done. It doesn't look like they're trying to like make fun of that style. It looks like it just is and it's so well done from the packaging to their website to the models they use. Everything is beautiful. Their graphic designer deserves a raise. I love it so much. Sometimes I just go to their website just to look at it because it's just so good. It's so, so well done. So that is what drew me into the brand. Um, I had gotten like an ad on Instagram or something and I was like, what the heck is that? I have to try something out. So I did get this at Ulta. It retails for $24 and it's 2.2 fluid ounces and it's an SPF 50 face mist. It doesn't say it's a makeup setting spray or anything like that. It really is just a sunscreen spray for your face. I mean, you could spray it wherever you want, but a little size like this is usually meant to carry around and like reapply over makeup or however you want. It says it's a daily face mist sunscreen for the home, pool, or office. So on the back, it says invisible finishing mist, lightly scented, coconut cucumber, it has caffeine, instantaneous refreshment, octanoxate free, oxybenzone free, it's also vegan, and this is a chemical sunscreen. So first off, lightly scented, like no way. This is so perfumey. It is over the top perfumey, and I don't mind fragrance in my products. I have nothing against it. I like scented stuff, but this is a little much, especially for spraying on your face. And I was looking at the reviews on at least Ulta's website and a lot of people said it was very irritating for them. A lot of people that had sensitive skin said this really burned. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's the fragrance or what, but I didn't have any um, issue with that on my skin. It didn't burn, irritate or anything like that. But the scent, it's over the top. It's over the top. It smells good, but it's not a scent I want to smell all day long on my face. It's very, very strong. So it smells kind of like a coconut body oil, sunscreen with some alcohol in it. Like it just has a little, a little of everything in the scent here. Um, and then as far as the sprayer goes, it's very, very nice. So I'm going to spray it just on my hand. Hopefully you can see the mist. It's really, really fine. Let's see if you can see it. Ooh, well, I didn't press it nicely. It's really nice. You do got to kind of hold it really far from your face because otherwise it'll be like a little strong, but it's a nice mist, especially for the face. So as far as like the actual formula and the sunscreen goes, for me, this is really greasy looking. Um, if I spray it on my arms or my hands, like, oh my God, the scent. It, I'm gonna have to wash my hand after this. This is way, way, way too strong. Anyway, if I spray it on my arms or my hands, like I'm leaving work and I just wanna do a little touch up, um, it absorbs nicely into the skin and it looks fine. But when I spray this on my face, it looks so oily, so oily and greasy. And I don't know if it's because on my arms and hands, I don't have anything like for this to sit on top of. It's going straight to my bare skin. And maybe because I already have makeup on, like this isn't able to sink in totally to my skin. I really don't know what it's about, but it looks greasy. It looks greasy. I guess if I were to set this, this sunscreen got everywhere when I sprayed it. Um, I guess if I were to set it with a little powder or something, it would be okay, but I haven't really used it like that. I've tended to just spray it on my arms and hands because the scent is so strong. So I'm not gonna test this out on my face right now because I don't wanna smell this all day long and it's gonna give me a really bad headache. Like I'm honestly gonna go wash this off as well. I think I did try this out in a video. So if I did, I will link it down below because I think I tried it in um, like the Ulta haul that I did where I bought this so you could see it in action, but I'm not gonna try it on my face, I'm sorry. It's just way too perfumey and I don't like the way it looks on top of makeup. So I don't know, like I wouldn't buy this again and just based on the fragrance that's in here, I'm going to assume all of their stuff is going to smell like this. So I did want to try some of their other products. They have like a sunscreen foam that looks really fun, but based on this, I don't want to try anything else. I'm going to keep this though because I mean, look at it. It's 
beautiful. And the mister is really, really nice. So I think once I run out of this, if I ever finish it, I'm gonna use the bottle again to like refill with different facial sprays that I like to use because the mist is really nice and I did enjoy it, but that's just my take on it. I, I can't recommend this really for any reason. If you like a really sweet, strong smelling sunscreen, maybe this will be for you. But for me, it just wasn't it, kind of missed the mark, just a little too greasy and unpleasant smelling for my taste. But that is my take on this. If you've tried it, let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. But thank you so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video.